Please take your seats at this time. Remember that the use of cell phones for making or receiving phone calls or texts is prohibited during all general sessions. Now, please give your undivided attention to the stage as your State Executive Council bids farewell. Ladies and gentlemen, your 2022-2023 State Officers. Your Vice President of Membership, Ethan Idolsky. An important chapter of our lives is coming to an end. However, there is a whole new chapter of life awaiting us. As I close on this chapter, I realize that BPA gave me precious memories that are truly priceless. The first meeting we had is still fresh and new in my mind. Furthermore, at the time, life seemed so difficult and hard. I started this journey not knowing where it would take me. Now that I'm reaching the end, I find myself in a bittersweet moment. While saddened to see this experience come to an end, I am so delighted to see all of our work and ideas come together. I want to not only thank the organization for all the memories made along the way, but also thank all the people I've made connections with throughout my journey. I met many great members and made many great friendships. I also couldn't have done it without all the help and support along the way, namely both my parents, Mr. Henderson, Ms. Monique, and the rest of the state office, as well as my amazing team. No one knows what the future holds, but I hope the best for all of you unfolding this next chapter. Thank you, Michigan BPA. Your state historian, Leandro Cardenas. One year. That is how long it has been since I stood here and became an officer of the State Executive Council. That simple phrase, however, could never begin to describe the things that I've experienced during my term. I've grown in ways that I would have never imagined before obtaining this position. I learned skills that I will continue to use throughout the remainder of my life. Overall, I've been molded into a much more professional individual. I've met many people who have touched my life positively in ways that I cannot begin to describe. I will forever be grateful for all of the hardworking individuals at the state office, on the state executive council, as well as all of the other people associated with this wonderful organization. I am thankful for my parents who provided me with the foundations to create a great life for myself. Through all of the ups and downs, these people, you people, have been there with me. As I continue to further my education and career, I will always hold a special place in my heart for those that changed my life. I am thankful that I can say that serving this great organization has been one of the best experiences of my life. Thank you all for such an amazing year. State Parliamentarian Brian Torres Alcantar. Well, it's been a crazy year. I still remember speaking in front of everyone at the opening session last year. I've really enjoyed being able to help lead Michigan BPA in its 51st year, and there are so many people I want to thank for guiding me and helping me throughout this journey. Thank you to Ms. Monique, to Mr. Henderson, to my high school friends, chapter members, and advisors. But I specifically want to thank my best friend, Anna Marie Vorce, who has supported me throughout this year. I truly do appreciate her support. And to the incoming state officers, I wish the best of luck throughout this school year and in your future endeavors. Thank you to Michigan BPA for a intense but great year. Your state secretary treasurer, Connor Morin. When I first heard about BPA, I thought it was just another club my teachers wanted me to join. So I finally cracked and thought, there's no harm in trying. And so far, it has not disappointed me. It is sad my time as a state officer is almost over with. It all went by so quickly. I must thank my parents, my advisors, my friends, and everyone else that has supported me along the way. And a special thanks to Monique, Mr. Henderson, John, and everyone else in the state office for allowing me this amazing opportunity. This last year was an incredible experience. There were some very late nights and very early mornings. Yeah, they might have lost my bag at the airport, but that's the fun of it. It made it ever so satisfying when I saw it all come together. This was sure something I'll never forget and the amazing people I've had the pleasure to meet and the outstanding work they did to get here. To everyone here tonight, I thank you. Your Executive Vice President, Nikhil Desai. Hey, Michigan BPA. 
This past year has been something else. I started off my state officer journey with a Jack Harlow quote and no idea what I was going to get myself into. And I'm not going to lie, it was a lot. From running meetings to planning conferences, there was always something on my plate. The only reason I made it this far is because of the people in my life who've gotten me here. My parents, friends, my fellow state officers, Ukit, and of course, the state office team. John, Lilia, Miss Monique, and Mr. Henderson. Thank you all for your support over these past months. It means a lot. And I know I said that this past year was a lot of work, but as true as that is, it's all been worth it because all that effort was for you. We wanted this year to be the best it could possibly be, to give Michigan BPA an experience like no other. And I truly hope that this conference reflected that. So thank you all for making this year one I'll never forget. Your state president, Do Yun Cho. What a journey. My BPA journey as a member and as an officer feels very long with all the memories that I created with my team and many other chapter members. Yet, here I am today with all the sleepless nights and efforts behind me. It feels like all of it has gone in a snap. I've learned leadership, professionalism, and etiquette from my state officer team as well as the state office staff. Thank you so much to my parents and the Berrien Springs High School chapter for always supporting me and helping me become who I am today. Thank you so much Michigan BPA for molding me into the leader I am today. As I move forward from my SEC journey, I will cherish all these memories and will always carry my Michigan BPA alumni identity with me wherever I go. It's been an honor to serve you Michigan BPA. I love you all and I'll see you around. Members, advisors, and guests, your 2022-2023 Business Professionals of America Michigan Association State Executive Council. Good evening, Michigan BPA. What a journey it has been leading up to this state leadership conference. Every single one of you, new or experienced, walked into this program intending to start a new chapter in your life. This past weekend, you demonstrated dedication and passion into your competitive events, which placed you in your very seats tonight, distinguishing you as the best of the best student professionals throughout the state. As we step into the 51st anniversary of Michigan BPA, many things can be foreign to the new generation of high school students in BPA. But with the commitment that we have emphasized throughout this conference, let us all write the next chapter of Michigan BPA with a powerful statement. Tonight, reflect on this past weekend about how you wrote your Michigan BPA story. Think about the connections that you have made with the people around you, friends, leaders, and most importantly, business professionals. Throughout your remaining time here, continue to get to know new people, share your story, and express your passion for BPA. Take this experience as an opportunity to utilize the resources around you and learn something new to improve your local chapters and communities. Join us by taking initiative this year and continue to make an impact on Michigan BPA's history. We are the future, and I know that with hard work and perseverance from all of us, our next chapter will even be better. We would like to welcome our reaffiliated chapters who are reconnecting with business professionals of America. Reaffiliated chapters, please stand as your name is called. Audience, please hold your applause until all chapters are called. Beaverton High School, East Kentwood High School, Ironwood High School, Niles Senior High School, Oakland Schools Technical Southeast Campus, and Whitehall High School. We are excited to welcome you back.
Members and guests, please pause for a moment of silence for the invocation. Heavenly Father, thank you for this opportunity to be together in fellowship for our 51st State Conference. As we strive to become true business professionals, let us learn to focus on our goals and meet the challenges ahead as you give us the strength to succeed. We pause for a moment to remember those that have gone before us. We ask you to bless this food which we are about to receive and guide us home safely tomorrow. In your name, amen. Enjoy your meal. We hope you have enjoyed your meal. As we continue with the program, we would like to recognize several guests who are with us this evening. Please stand when your name is called. Audience, please hold your applause until all names have been called. Members of the Business Advisory Board, Chairperson Barbara Jean Patton, Development Consultant. Vice Chair Kyra Leverett, Owner, KML Consulting. Carl I. Bell, Managing Director, GAA New Ventures, LLC. Christopher Hussang, Director of HR Operations and Consulting, DTE Energy. Carnell Richardson, Owner, C. Rich Consulting. Dr. Charmaine Hines, Secretary, Development Coordinator, Business Professionals of America. Ladies and gentlemen, Let's welcome our Business Advisory Board members. Thank you.
we'd like to recognize a few dedicated individuals who have contributed to the betterment of business professionals of America, many of whom have played a critical role in our success for the past 51 years. Without their continued support, our organization would not be such a success. These special individuals are alumni members, state staff, and judges who have helped make this conference one to remember. Would all alumni, state staff, and judges please stand to be recognized? Furthermore, our assessment events would not be able to run efficiently without the assistance of test administrators, proctors, and graders. Chapter advisors and many volunteers serve in these capacities to, to ensure that the Workplace Skills Assessment Program is a quality program. Would all competitive event administrators, proctors, and graders please stand to be recognized? At this time, it is my pleasure to welcome our Business Advisory Board Chairsperson, Barbara Jean Patton, to the stage to bring greetings. Good evening, everyone. Um, I'm going to ask Maurice, will you come up and join me? Yeah, let's give Maurice a hand. I'm not sure how he does it every year, but he pulls this thing off flawlessly. And uh, we are very thankful for him. Yay, Mo. Don't y'all try that or you'll be in trouble. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to ask a few other people to come up if they will. Ali Berry, Monique Callahan Jackson, Dr. Nathan Craddett, John Perot, Hallie Smith, Jake Taylor, Jordan Weber, and I believe is Lilla Sheline in here. If she might be watching online, so uh, Lilla, we hope you're watching. Coming up, folks. So most of you recognize this fabulous group up here. Um, they kind of keep things going. And although Maurice is at the helm of this, um, there are a number of other people who make this machine work. They're giving instructions. Are they following them as you wish? Okay. <laughs> Just let me know. I've got a belt up here too. Ah, ah. So while Maurice does most of the work, we know this could not also happen without some folks helping him. And these faces behind me are the folks that are helping him make this work. We know that there was a time when, you know, chapter advisors only communicated with Maurice. And looking at this crowd and all of our wonderful volunteers, I can't even imagine trying to handle all of those calls. As things have evolved over the past few years, the processes to complete various tasks, to plan our fall conference, and competitions and state competitions, it has increased. Things have not gotten easier, even with social media and the rest, it's still a major task. In times of need, when we have needed more assistance in order to keep things going, these individuals have volunteered. Yeah. 
So what's so incredibly amazing about these volunteers is they never expect to be paid. They never ask what's in it for me. They step in even when no one assigns them to do anything. They just say, okay, so-and-so needs to be done, and they do it. Um, they are an incredible, incredible group of people. They've handled things ranging from conference hotel planning, state officer leadership development training and assistance, regional conference registration and competitive events, communications with local chapter advisors, coordinating social media, communication, planning special events, and I could go on and on and on. So, they give back to our organization and it's an honor. Um, their service to the organization, the Business Advisory Board, is recognizing each of you this evening. We would like to give you a Distinguished Service Award during this state leadership conference because it is well deserved. So the award reads, Michigan Business Professionals of America Distinguished Service Award is awarded to for your dedication and personal service to business professionals of America. We appreciate your support, leadership, and immeasurable contributions. March 11th, write the next chapter. So, I'll just call the names, and Maurice will hand them out. Hallie Smith. Maurice also has an envelope for them. I'm not gift a gift certificate. So they have that along with their, their award. So this one goes to Hallie L. Smith. Jacob Taylor. Jordan S. Weber. Allie Berry. Dr. Nathaniel Kraditz. <laughs> John Perot. <laughs> and last, but we know certainly not least, Monique Callahan Jackson. Okay, here's our volunteers that make this machine work. Thank you. Our year as state officers would not be possible without the help of some special people. Today, we thank these individuals for the love and guidance that they have given us throughout the year. Oh Kyung Ha and Q Sung Cho, parents of Paul Cho. Keaton and Neha Desai, 
parents of Nikhil Desai. Joanna and Stephen Morin, parents of Connor Morin. Victoria Alcantar and Jesus Torres, parents of Brian Torres Alcantar. Roxanne Irwin and Kareem Howard, parents of Leandro Cardenas. And Jeffrey and Melissa Idolsky, the parents of myself, Ethan Idolsky. On behalf of all of us, thank you very much. Advisors, you are the one who inspires students to strive to accomplish their goals, even in the busy world we live in. You put in many hours into chapter activities, events that enable your students to develop into business professionals. Your hard work often goes unnoticed and sometimes unappreciated, but we are here to say thank you. Your students look to you for direct encouragement and support in which you so kindly give with all your heart. We Will all local chapter advisors please stand to be recognized? <laughs> Service awards for various advisors will be presented tomorrow morning at the advisor meeting. These advisors have reached an anniversary milestone with BPA in five-year increments. Their names are listed in the conference mobile app. Congratulations on a job well done. <laughs> Becoming a state officer holds many responsibilities. From filling out important forms attending interviews, writing campaign speeches, and meeting our members, state officer elections are filled with many opportunities and challenges. So now is the moment you've all been waiting for, the 2023 to 2024 Business Professionals of America State Executive Council elect. An official teller's report will be published in the minutes for the state conference. Please remember that candidates must have obtained the majority of the votes in order to be elected to an officer position. When the officers elect are announced, please come forward for your installation. Members, remember, this is a solemn ceremony, so please refrain from all talking, and please hold all of your applause until all officers have been announced. Thank you. Will Curtis Brashaw from St. Louis High School, the Vice President of Communications Elect, please come forward. Will Alexia Pringle from Bay Aranac ISD Career Center AM, the Vice President of Membership Elect, please come forward.
Vice Presidents Elect, you have shown your leadership ability by being elected to this position. It will be your responsibility to preside over all regional conferences and work within your area to promote the high ideals of our state association. If all of you agree to assume the responsibilities as a vice president, please raise your right hand and recite this pledge. I do hereby state that I will fulfill my responsibilities as a vice president of Business Professionals of America. Now, please sign your officer agreement as a symbol of your commitment. Congratulations to the new Vice Presidents. Will James Anderson from Bering Springs High School, the state parliamentarian elect, please come forward. Mr. Parliamentarian-elect, your duty will be to ensure that the State Association is run according to good parliamentary procedure in conducting meetings. You will also supervise the election of officers. If you agree to assume these responsibilities, please raise your right hand and repeat this pledge. I do hereby state that I will fulfill my responsibilities as parliamentarian of Business Professionals of America. Now please sign your officer agreement as a symbol of your commitment. Will Abigail Walter from Salt Area Career Center, the state historian elect, please come forward? Madam Historian-Elect, your duty is to strive to supply public information. This can be accomplished in part by gathering and submitting all interesting news. You will assist the Secretary in making association reports by keeping pictures and articles published concerning the association and its members. As historian, you will help compile our state association history by making a scrapbook. If you agree to assume these responsibilities, please raise your right hand and repeat this pledge. Right hand, you can hold it to us. I do. I do. Hereby state. Hereby state. That I will fulfill my responsibilities as historian. That I will fulfill my responsibilities as historian. Of business professionals of America. Of business professionals of America.
Now, please sign your officer agreement as a symbol of your commitment. Will Chloe Osterman from Anchor Bay High School, the state secretary treasurer elect, please come forward. Secretary-Treasurer-Elect, Secretary you have been chosen by your fellow members to keep accurate minutes of all meetings and carry on correspondence of our state association. You must be responsible for the state association reports. You have been placed with a high honor and trust to keep accurate records of all receipts and disbursements and be ready at all times to give a report of the financial condition of our state association. If you agree, to assume the uh, these of responsibilities, please raise your right hand and repeat this pledge. I do, I do. Hereby, state hereby state that I will fulfill my responsibility as Secretary Treasurer of Business Professionals of America. Now please sign your officer agreement as a symbol of your commitment. Mora McSweeney from Mercy High School, the State Executive Vice President-Elect, please come forward. Madam Executive Vice President-Elect, you have been chosen by your fellow members to lead this organization in the absence of the President. You are to assist the President at all times in directing the work of our organization, preside over meetings in his or her absence, and help to keep all committees working efficiently. If you are willing to accept this responsibility, please raise your right hand and repeat this pledge. I do. I do. Hereby state that I will fulfill my responsibilities as Executive Vice President. That I will fulfill my responsibilities as Vice President. Of Business Professionals of America. Of Business Professionals of America. Now, please sign your officer agreement as a symbol of your commitment. And now, your 2023 to 2024 Business Professionals of America State President. Wasavi Bundar Naike from Ann Arbor Huron High School, 
the state president-elect please come forward. Mr. President-elect, you have been chosen by your fellow members to be the leader of our state association for the coming year. In electing you president, we have indicated your responsibility, diplomacy, and intelligence, and hereby entrust you with the future administration of our organization. You must be aware of the work that has to be done and provide leadership in seeing that it is accomplished. It is your responsibility that the organization is advancing. We will look to your leadership in all endeavors. If you're willing to accept these responsibilities, please raise your right hand and repeat this pledge. I do hereby state that I will fulfill my responsibilities as president of Business Professionals of America. Now please sign your officer agreement as a symbol of your commitment. Members, advisors, and guests, the 2023 to 2024 State Officer Team duly elected and entrusted with administration of this organi organization for the coming year. Let's give them a round of applause. Before this session is adjourned, we have a few announcements. One of the highlights for all of our students is our dance. The dance begins at 9.30 in this room and will conclude promptly at 11.30 p.m. You're welcome to donate one dollar or more as you enter, as all financial gifts will be given to the American Cancer Society to mark the end of this year's state service project. Remember, you must wear your name, name badge and wristband to get in. The attire for the dance is professional or formal, and shoes must be worn for the entirety of the event. Please be respectful for one another and our volunteers, and this will ensure we get a chance to relax and enjoy the final moments of SLC together. Advisors, immediately following this session, there will be an advisor open forum in the Pantland Ballroom. In addition, Advisors from all regions will be meeting in various rooms following the advisor open forum. Students, remember the curfew is 12, midnight. For your advisor's sakes, please abide by the curfew. All state officer elects, their parents, their advisors, please meet in the Imperial Ballroom immediately after this session adjourns. Don't forget to encourage your family and friends to view the live stream of the award session tomorrow morning beginning at 9.15 a.m. The link can be found on our website, michiganbpa.org. Finally, and this piece is most important, we have a time change tonight. Make sure to set your clocks one hour ahead to make sure you are on time for the award session in the morning. Again, move your clocks ahead one hour. Since there is no further business, I now declare this dinner session adjourned.